Hi, I'm Andrea Bob stark I'm an attorney here at Mueller Law Office. In Maine, if you are behind on your mortgage and the lender is going to foreclose on you, they have to serve you with a summons and complaint. So Maine is very unique. We have a mediation program that allows homeowners to sit down with the lender and their attorney and a mediator and discuss ways in which they might be able to prevent the foreclosure. What this process does, the court process, the foreclosure diversion process, allows you to submit a packet of financial documents and other information to the lender's attorney. And then the lender's attorney will forward it to the lender and then you will go to the mediation, review those documents, see if you might be eligible for some type of loan modification. Uh, the process still is very complicated and very comprehensive and you have to provide exactly the correct documents. And I hear all the time that people try for a year, two years on their own to try and get a modification and they just can't do it. We provide a service here where we can represent you in that process. We will provide you with excellent service and excellent attention to make sure you put forth a really great application and a complete application and to make sure the bank reviews that. So we'll check in weekly with them for a status update so they provide you with a response. Something to be aware of, uh, the government program is the Making Home Affordable or HAMP program. It's also known as the Obama program. And what that program tries to do is get your payment down to 31% of your gross monthly income. And the payment for your mortgage would include principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. If you're denied a HAMP for some reason, there are in-house programs that your lender probably has. It looks at what you're paying out each month for expenses and credit card debt and any other bills that you have versus what you're taking in each month, your net income. I know that letting the house go might not be a priority and might not be your first choice. I, I understand that. Um, but sometimes it makes sense, financially, emotionally, whatever your personal decision is. And one way to let the house go is a short sale, where you sell the house for less than what you owe. So you might sell it for one seventy-five when you owe 200000 so that's something you really need to be careful of if you do a short sale. You also have to be careful of that with a deed in lieu of foreclosure. So a deed in lieu of foreclosure is when you sign over the deed to the lender and you leave the house and they take over the house. Again, there might be a difference in the value of that house versus what you owe on the loan and there may be a shortfall or deficiency they can come after you for. So with both the short sale and the deed in lieu, we can represent you and make sure that the lender is evaluating you for a waiver of that deficiency. So you're not liable for that deficiency. Another option, if you have other debt, maybe credit card debt or medical debt, and you don't want to worry about a deficiency and you want to let the house go is to look at bankruptcy and you could meet with one of our other attorneys about bankruptcy and how you might get rid of the house and the deficiency in a bankruptcy or you may be able to save the house in a, in a bankruptcy as well if you have significant other debt and it makes sense to go that route.